I am you and you are me. No difference in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> I met Ruth before the lockdown. I was in Zambia to document uh, the projects of Orange Babies. They built a beautiful school there and uh, the people in the poorer areas were able to go with a bus to the school uh, so they could also go to school. And Ruth was one of the, the students. <laughs> and I heard about uh, Ruth and her uh, albinism. She should have a brown skin, but because of the albinism, she has a white skin, red skin. And because of this, uh, she cannot handle the sun. So uh, UV radiation uh, yeah, creates these dots on her skin. So that's a, a problem because uh, when uh, people with albinism are in their 30s or 40s, and they are not well protected till then, then the chance of cancer, skin cancer, is very high. So that's one thing. And the other thing is that, uh, yeah, the, the story of the witch doctors in Africa, that people with albinism have magical powers and that you should kill them and uh, use them as a medicine. Thank God this is uh, not happening and she is not in danger. Luckily, what I also saw is that at the school, she's treated as all the other children, how it should be. So it's very nice. We don't look at uh, who is who. We just look at the child that needs help. So in school, in the, here at Pakacheri, we tell the children no segregation. A child is a child. Whether it's in a wheelchair, or, in fact, we had one child who was in a wheelchair. The children themselves were helping him to get on the bus, wheel him home and all that kind of thing. So here we don't segregate. And we encourage the children not to segregate, to just play like any other child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Luckily, Orange Babies was able to, to help her and other children to go to school again. But Orange Babies is not, not able to help her as an individual, uh, protecting her skin uh, from the sun. So when I was going back with the airplane, I was thinking, uh, I should do something, you know, I can forget about this, but maybe I can do something. I made this portrait, so from Ruth and Isaac, and I thought maybe, maybe I can do an ex exhibition or be part of an exhibition and uh, try to sell the photo. So I uh, created postcards with a text on it, and uh, these I sold uh, during the exhibition and also at other events. Uh, and with this money, uh, we collected uh, enough money to make special clothes for her, to uh, arrange uh, sunscreen and special stuff. For example, nail, nail polish that she can put on. And if uh, there's too much sun, then they will change of color. So she directly notice if uh, the sun is too bright and she has to go in the shade. So these kind of things. And uh, we uh, collected enough money to protect her uh, till she is an adult. So uh, that's nice. And uh, before the lockdown, I also went to Zambia again to bring this first batch of stuff. And it was very nice. <laughs> it was actually an adventure. So you just have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> it's okay. Ah, oh my God, oh my God. You look so funny. This way, the car is that way. Hello. The car is that way. Be careful. My friend Samson uh, helped me. Uh, he was also my assistant during uh, the shoots. And uh, I asked him, uh, if we go to the parents of Ruth and Isaac, what should I bring? You know, I want to give them a present, you know. And he said, uh, maybe you can bring them uh, some chicken. So I thought, oh, OK, let's go to the supermarket and buy, uh, buy some chicken, uh, some frozen chicken. And then he said, no, a real chicken. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, <laughs> aha. So we went to the market and bought the chicken. <laughs> Hello. 
Hey. Don't scare. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hold them like this? Yes, you need okay. to hold it like that. Okay, you might to mangi them So it's my first time. Carry them like that. Come with me. Oh, yes. Like this? Yes. Okay. Hold them like that. Hold them like that. No, hold it like this. Just stop. Just like this? Yes. Yeah. Hold it like that. Yes. You can't break them. You can't break them. Just hold them. Yeah. No, no, no. Again. Again. Okay, thank you. Okay, we walk to the car. Okay. Walk them just tightly. Hold them tightly. Thank you. Bye. Come, come. Careful. Okay, little boys. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take a ride, okay? Got you on camera. Isaac. <laughs> 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 You're welcome. <laughs> and when we left, uh, she was so happy. She ran after me and she said, Adrian, Adrian. And she wanted to give me a hug. And it was so, so beautiful. So, so nice. Last month, uh, a new package with new clothes and new uh, skin products for Ruth went to Zambia. Uh, this time I couldn't bring it myself, of course. They sent me a movie where they unpack the, the box and she looked very happy. So I really want to share this with you and I really want to thank everyone that helped that time to collect money uh, to do this for Ruth, that her chance on skin cancer is as low as possible. Yeah, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we're finally by Ruth's place and um, she's here. I'm happy to see her and she's also happy to see me. <laughs>
also lives here nearby? Sorry? Your aunt? I Where you live? Not here. Okay. Not here. Hello. I'm walking a little bit like I shit at my pants mm. because then it's more stable. If you only move your knees. So that's why. <laughs> Can you take some pictures also? Yeah, some pictures. Yeah, why not? No you are fast. You walk very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, my wife. Good, how are you? I'm fine. Good. My name is Adrian. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you. Oh, they were walking so fast. Whew. If you like what I'm doing and you want to contribute, uh, you can go to my website adriankuipers.com. You can also find the book We Are Orange Babies there. It's, uh, it's very needed to support orange babies now. So uh, I would like to uh, ask you to look at it. You can also buy uh, a limited edition photo or a mini edition photo to support it. Uh, you can also do a donation. Uh, just have a look and thank you.